Righty ho, a rundown of what happened today. Man, it's gone quite quick actually. Got up early, Lake Argyle. Pretty much everything was packed. Just pulling the hoses, pulling the power cords, pulling the side of the van, let's go. I think it was only a 50 minute drive from Argyle to Kununurra. Filled up with some cheap diesel. Thank you Kununurra for your cheap diesel and uh, basically got here early because of the showgrounds here um, it was one of the areas we were going to come without a booking which is pretty fatal here in Kananara because it's busy a busy as anyway when we were going to start looking at booking the minimum bookings were about two days or something so I thought oh well it's showgrounds or bust so we got here really early um, it was about 8.30, quarter to 9. Of course the showgrounds, the guy does not open until 10. The bloke comes out about 5 to 10 and there was two of us waiting. That was all the spots there were. So, thank heavens for the early start. Got here. And they say we had to wait till 10. So, uh, got in, dropped the trailer off. That gave us the freedom. <laughs> hey, Ken. <laughs> I thought it was either you or Jude, she's in the tie-dye shirt as well. <laughs> Photo bomber. So, um, yeah, there's our uh, mate looking after us, Ken there. So, um, yeah, we dropped that trailer off. That gave us the ability to whip up to the uh, Ivanhoe Crossing, which was pretty impressive. Would have loved to have done the crossing myself, but I don't think the van would have been up for it, no loan any warranties. So here we are at the Ivanhoe Crossing, where everybody comes down to test their toys, their machines, their mean machines, their four-wheel drives, or their ability to drive across the river and not end up being a crocodile bait. <laughs> Beautiful spot, that water just looks so refreshing, you want to jump in, eh? So nice. seen that Ivan, Ivanhoe crossing and then Jude saw that uh, there was a zebra stone um, what do you call them when he's working with stone polisher and trinkets and things like that uh, shop so we called into there that was pretty impressive um, then I saw the, um, the irrigation and it's nice to put what we've seen up there into perspective to what we've got down here I don't know how much of this you're going to hear over the noise of uh, the irrigation scene, but uh, obviously over that way there somewhere is the uh, the Ord River. We were on kind of like the Ord River with the um, Lake Argyle. So yeah, obviously water just comes down these irrigation channels and um, these little paddle wheels are obviously grabbing grabbing the water, probably aerating it and things as well, keeping it alive and sending it on its merry way. Here's the, an offshoot, this is probably yeah, part off the old, old river, 
irrigation centre, uh, uh, what do you call it, irrigation scheme. It's come down, I, I'm a, this wouldn't be the Ord River, this is, that's further over ahead of us there. But yeah, come on down here. We're heading down this merry way to other farms. This farmer says I want a little bit. He's fearing it by these little paddles, grabbing it, aerating it, giving it a little speed, a little bit of motion. And it's falling down through down the rest of the ditch. And there's those irrigation pipes. Which as I say, you go along, give them a wriggle or something, and it sucks water up over the banks, quite an art in it. Yeah, I'm sure once you've done them 150 times you'll be an expert at it. And then it runs through all that area there and waters the trees. Now of course this, more cotton. Looks like this place is snowed. Alrighty, the next little stop that you do here in Kananara is the sandalwood store. Um, there's a little cafeteria but see that's closed at the moment. Damn it, I'll have to go to the the hoochery instead. Anyway, we'll go and see what the sandalwood's all about. There's obviously enough of these trees around here. We'll see if we can keep some mozzies off of Jude. Okay, I had a quick nosy of the old sandalwood. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, it's all sustainable. Um, yeah, growing the trees here. Turn it into perfumes and deodorants and um, obviously diffusers and beautiful wood. So, didn't take any video in there, I'm sorry. Moving on to the hoochery for lunch, yay! Here we go, just noticed at the door. Wild barra tacos and pulled pork sliders. Could be a good sesh. And I think he licensed it back in 1993 possibly. So it's the oldest running licensed rum distillery in WA. We are, we've made our way and we're on our way to, where are we going? Grocery shopping, how yep. boring. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're stocked up, back here. Yeah. Get the van all situated, I've filled up my water tanks for tomorrow, which is uh, onwards. I think we're gonna do Bow River Crossing or something like that to start with, a Bow River Rest Area. And then uh, that's about um, 160 odd k's, I think, 140, 160 k's from here. I want to be close to the Bungle Bungle areas so that we don't have, well, we can't, I don't think we can get accommodation at the Bungle Bungle's motor camp. So uh, we will free camp on our way down there and be within, you know, 50 to 10 kilometers of the Bungle Bungle's um, scenic helicopter flight area there. So that's our plan for the next couple of days anyway. In the meantime, enjoy the coolness of the shade of the tree there and some power to run the AC and uh, some fresh water for a nice shower and things. And then we've got about 10 days crossing before we go to Broome. So, interesting. So no, Kananar is a nice spot. Can't see it at the moment, just when I sat down, there was so many birds up in the sky, so many of those um, kites I think they were. So I'll show you that just before I flip. But there would have been at least 20 up there when I sat down. Having a wonderful evening here in um, Kananara. Just had a good chat to uh, my custodian here at uh, the Kanara Showgrounds. Top bloke, uh, Ken Austin. Bit of a muso, so if you're uh, uh, I think he's on Facebook there, Ken Austin or something there, type him in. It's got some really nice music and uh, he's kicking a ball to a young fella out here. We'll swap it over, check this out. There he is. They're out here on a bit of, bit of footy practice. Young fella out here was kicking a ball and it was, he had chased it all the time so Ken's jumped out here and he's given a bit of a kick back. Got a way better job than I would. I think that's Gally's Knob in the distance with the sun setting on it. It's beautiful. Crazy sort of uh, hues going on here at the moment where there are a mixture of the, the lights and the, uh, the sun setting and things. But yeah, the young kids out here 
enjoying a bit of AFL footy practice. Beautiful evening, it's 28 degrees, about uh, 6 o'clock in the evening, down here at the Kununurris Showgrounds. So, just when the Bald River been released from Lake Argyle and sent on its merry way, and it thinks, yee I'm heading off to the sea. At Kununurra here, they built a diversion dam. So this goes across the Ord River and it says, hey Ord River, we want some water for our crops, our trees, and we're going to take a bit of it. So this dam's been built to take a bit off to those crops and then send the rest on its merry way. That way. So we'll spin around. So there we go, the old river diversion dam, it's regulating the flow of the mighty old river. Now head on down to Ivanhoe Crossing and beyond, there's going to be some good fish, and some crocodiles and all sorts of aquatic and bird life and some pieces of some joy that on the way down to Texas Point. Good morning.